Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you something I'm having a problem with. Uh, I do a lot of overhead videos with my tripod and uh, here's my, my rig right here. The camera, the tripod, right? And then of course my, my work area. The problem with this is that in order to get the proper angle or point of view from my hand point of view, I have to work with the tripod in front of me, which is a real, real pain in the butt. So, um, as you can see there on the video, you can see the legs on the tripod as well. But basically what happens is uh, you got to work around the tripod all the time to get that to uh, function and look like a point of view video. So here I'm going to do my last point of view video um, using this setup. Uh, what we're going to do is create a PVC inversion mount that uh, turns the camera 180 degrees around so that it can be in front of you and you'll get the right point of view uh, when you're filming without having to be working around your tripod. Here are the parts you're going to need to make this uh, uh, inversion mount. You're going to need one uh, one and a quarter by three and a quarter inch machine bolt, three uh, quarter inch he hex nuts, a quarter inch split washer, a three inch PVC coupling. Uh, you can get this at uh, uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or any home uh, hardware kind of uh, store. Uh, one uh, quarter inch by one inch wing uh, bolt. Uh, this is going to be used for uh, mounting the camera to it. You'll see how I do that when I'm done creating this uh, little mount. And uh, as far as tools goes, something to cut this with, which I used, uh, I used a, uh, a cutting wheel on a, a circular a grinder, but you can use a hacksaw or even if you're really, really uh, patient, a Dremel tool as well. Uh, it's up to you how you cut it, but that's, you're going to need to cut this piece of plastic, which is fairly hefty, and uh, you know some sandpaper to smooth it out with as well. Okay, so next I'll show you what what kind of cuts I made on this uh, coupling to make this happen. Sorry, I forgot to mention the type of uh, tripod I'm using. I'm using a Targus uh, TGT-58TR. And it has uh, a standard uh, mounting system on it, and uh, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Okay, there's the head on my uh, Targus uh, TGT58TR uh, tripod, which is a standard tripod you get at Walmart or anywhere. Um, basically, it has a mounting plate, which you mount the camera to. And it just you release it by lifting this lock, and then you get this, right? And what that allows you to do is mount that in any way you want, on on top of that. Okay, as you can see, it has that quarter inch nut on the bottom of it, which is pretty standard for most uh, mounting uh, holes on cameras. And I'm gonna not use this for my mount. Um, if you don't have this system, you just have a flat. Uh, Flash, uh, flat mount for your uh, camera, well then you're going to have to figure out a way. Yeah, probably uh, I would suggest drill a hole through the center of that. Uh, but that's not the way I, I solved the problem. I made something else, uh, a little uh, piece to mimic the bottom of this to hold my mount on. I did most of the cutting and measuring uh, basically by eye. Um, I took this uh, three inch coupling and cut it into three diff different parts. Uh, this, I'll give you an, an idea. Uh, this first part I cut at seven and seven and three quarter inches. Uh, here I'll show you on this side how long that turns into on this. Uh, four and almost four and a half inches of, uh, of pipe off of that which gave me this nice piece here, which then I cut another 
almost two inch piece and a little about you know just a bit short a two inch piece off maybe a, yeah about a two inch piece off of it and it is also an inch and three quarters across now this piece fits perfectly into my mounting uh, plate that I just showed you um, what I needed to do in order to get this to work right is to cut the right angle on this side of it this side of it goes into the bottom of the mount and it's no problem at all here's where the locking hook goes on to so you have to angle this correctly so you're gonna have to work with that with either sandpaper or your grinder or whatever you're using to cut your plastic with okay so there's what you do you cut that pipe into those shapes this is uh, basically spare in case you know you need it again or you messed up you actually still have enough to make another one of those uh, pieces um, let's see and other than that it's just you know waste so get rid of that then we are left with those two pieces okay now what you're gonna do next is mount this plate piece to this piece and what that does for you is it creates your your mount for uh, your tripod okay and that's very ba basically very easy just drill a hole big enough for your quarter inch uh, nuts and uh, put them through so I'm gonna do that here's my quarter inch nut quarter by three and a quarter which is just barely big enough for this yeah did a little tight on this on the drill but that's okay here we go and your next step is to do that with it okay now okay, let me put might as well do it now you're almost done at this point by the way see I know notice I put the lock washer on it because that makes it nice and nice uh, nice and tight when you're uh, bolting it together I'm going to use a, a wrench to get that real nice and tight then I'm going to show you how all this mounts how this helps me out with the camera okay so bear with me um, Unfortunately, I only have I have two cameras, but I the camera I'm actually building this for I'm filming with but uh, I'll, I'll show you how this all works in the end Okay, so there's our our little rig actually bolted together um, As you can see I have the angled side to the top and uh, That's the way it's going to fit Right there onto my tripod. So as you can see it's just wide enough to fit into that slot right which is perfect makes it really nice and tight and then unlock the top sorry guys hard to do with one hand there we go and then lock it back down again and as you can see it's got a really good help, a grip on it now the next thing I got to do is mount the camera in there and I will do that by putting this wing nut through here and mounting it to the bottom of the camera. I'll show you that next. So as you can see I've lo I put the wing bolt through here. I put two nuts on, on the wing bolt uh, as well and basically I put two on here because I'm going to twist uh, tighten them against each other which will lock the depth down on this uh, bolt so I don't go too far and that so it creates you know when I put it in there it goes tight enough that creates some tension against the tube and holds this camera on there really nice and snug okay um, so as you can see it's th now the camera is at 180 degrees from where it was before which means when I point it down at my work turns on <laughs> it will actually be upside down okay so I'll show you that angle in a second but basically it turns the camera upside down on the mount um, and as you can see it's rock solid it gives me the ability to adjust it any way I want you know 
to to you know suit myself and, and uh, it gives me the, the tripod's ability also to excuse me to swivel in this direction as well so it gives you all all the flexibility of your mount only at 180 degrees okay so basically that's my solution for a point of view for shooting so you don't have to put you know you don't have to be filming from behind the tripod to get your hands in the right orientation for the camera now I can sit in front of that camera and uh, get a great shot and I'll show you that next one thing I forgot to point out is note how I cut this so it's not flush for the camera it's a little bit behind the bottom of the camera reason for that is it allows me to close this easily okay and keeps that out of the way so that's that's when you're putting this hole into the PVC you know try and figure out exactly how far away from the edge you need the camera to sit because you don't want to encumber the uh, ability to open and close your uh, viewing screen now my tripod is actually over there and my point of view now looks like I'm actually you know working behind the tripod but I'm not I'm in front of the tripod because my mounts allowing me to do this and this is a great thing so now I can work on things in the, the you know in an unencumbered way uh, I just put them in front of me put them down and then explain what I'm doing with them okay so that's my little video on how to make a 180 uh, PVC inversion mount for your tripod thank you for watching